Around the world, one in three people is infected with tuberculosis. They're isolating a polysaccharide, which is from uh, tuberculosis. At Colorado State University, one of the largest TB research teams in the United States, about 150 researchers, is leading the effort to stop the disease which most often attacks the lungs. It's, it's a very, very difficult organism to treat and, and to vaccinate against. Some little small granulomas around the airways. While progress has been made in tuberculosis around the globe, it's not a time to rest. Uh, in fact, it's a time in which we should redouble our efforts at new therapeutic discoveries, new diagnostic discoveries, new vaccines, such that we can have a hope of trying to eliminate TB in our lifetimes. There's that upper band above. In a complex of laboratories on CSU's flagship campus in Fort Collins, there are three main goals. To find new, fast, and inexpensive ways to diagnose TB, to develop new therapies to treat people with the disease, and to discover ways to stop the spread of tuberculosis. And what about the purification of the proteins that you're doing with Vicky? Yeah, I think... Uh... One of the newest innovations here is a way of stopping TB cells from building a protective shield by stopping the transporters that carry fats or lipids from the cell interior to its outer shell. Recently, uh, we discovered the nature of this transporter. We discovered it. And we also discovered some small inhibitors that are capable of blocking the transport function of this transporter so that the lipids remain stuck on the inside, if you will, can't reach the outside, and that kills a bacteria. It's a Colorado-grown discovery that could lead to a new TB antibiotic. That would treat people and prevent all those uh, uh, fatalities. Um, I would really be happy. That's really my motivation. In developed parts of the world, TB is a problem. In developing countries, it's a much bigger problem, where often tuberculosis gets a deadly boost from HIV. The CSU researchers know that any new diagnostic tools need to be tough and inexpensive for them to do any good in parts of the world like Africa and India. And you list any doses? No, not the kind of what. In those settings, you're able to see uh, the clinics where these patients go in. Uh, usually they're open air clinics, uh, patients sitting outside on benches waiting to go in to see a single doctor. So you'll have anywhere from 40 to 50 patients lined up. Any sort of inter intervention, whether it be a diagnostic or a drug, it has to be something that can be applied in a setting that is resource limited. Tuberculosis claims well over a million and a half lives each year. Part of the race for CSU's TB team and their collaborators around the world is to keep ahead of the bacteria itself as it mutates to become resistant to drugs. We're very worried that these cell populations are going to interfere with the efficacy of the, of the vaccines that are now being sort of tested or hope, you know, soon to be tested in South Africa. Where's the pathway in here? We're developing drug-resistant strains of bacteria very rapidly. We need new drugs. And there's no question that new drugs are needed. There's always that small chance that something you do is going to affect somebody's life somewhere in the world. I think that's what really is the, the defining factor that brings most people to the field. I myself have got latent TB. The founder of CSU's tuberculosis team has a personal interest in TB. Dr. Patrick Brennan grew up in Ireland in the 1940s, and tuberculosis was a common and sometimes deadly part of daily life. Guided by Dr. Brennan's leadership, dozens of leading TB researchers from countries around the world now call Fort Collins home, and the TB team now has a certain generational momentum. We're very special in, in terms of the outstanding talent that we have here. And the way that successive generations have returned, many of the key people here were graduate students here. I think it's true to say that um, over the last 25 years, um, our TV program has made a, a really major contributions to the field. And I think it's been an incredibly successful program. A cutting-edge team at Colorado State University, working together and with colleagues around the world to someday make the world safe from tuberculosis. I think some of the best scientists and basic scientists in tuberculosis are right here at Colorado State University, and I'm proud to be a member of a team where we can potentially have a great impact on, on human suffering, and after all, that's what this is all about. 
At Colorado State University, tuberculosis innovation that is life-saving and world-changing 